Why, hello there. Welcome back, everybody. Sorry, I'm just kidding. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Movie Social. We're your hosts, Ricky and Stefan. So, today's episode, we're going to be doing our spoiler review of Fill the Beat, starring Sophia Carson on Netflix as of right now, released uh, June 19th. And so, uh, before we get into that, as always, if you like the channel, like the video, give us a thumbs up in the comment, and then also let us know what you guys thought in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe. June 19th. That's it. So, uh, if you have not checked out our spoiler-free version, you can uh, click in the uh, upper right-hand corner there, and click the link, and watch it, and then come back and watch this one. Or, so, you can watch this one. Up to you. I mean, I don't know if you watched the movie or not yet, but if you did, then you can stay. If not, I advise if you don't want spoilers to be let out to you, then pause this and go watch it and then come back. All right, that's enough time. So, Sophia plays April, who's a Broadway dancer. Inspiring Broadway dancer. I mean, she's she's successfully a Broadway dancer. She's been in stuff. She might not have been a lead, but she's been in the uh, chorus or whatever mm -hmm. of it. When you haven't been a lead dancer, you're an inspiring Broadway Listen, dancer. Some people don't even make it to Broadway. That is true. So I'm going to say Broadway dancer who big shot gets ruined. In a way, it wasn't her fault. We're going to break down that scene in a second, but it wasn't her fault. And it was, but then she goes back to her hometown of New Hope, uh, Wisconsin. Tries to uh, figure everything out. Comes up with a plan to get her way back to the top. Things change along the way, of course, as they always tend to do in these kind of stories, these feel good movies. Mm -hmm. But she still ends up back at the top where she wants to be in the end. It just took a little bit of extra steps for her to get there, but. Overall, I thought it was a great movie, a very good, uh, feel good type of movie in this time, which some, sometimes we need a little feel good moments. And it doesn't hurt when uh, it's not a bad kind of movie or musical in a way. It was just more of great dancing, which I must commend the choreographers on this. Very good dancing, especially for the little kids on there. Especially the little boy did not expect that from him. That was, was really dope. good. That was dope. And I did love the one scene in there when uh, his wrist was hurting and everybody thought he was still going to hold the girl uh, up and he got held up instead. That that was hot. I liked it. Yeah. Nice little twist there. But let's get on to that first scene, the opening scenes, where uh, Sophia's character, April, is going out to go to this audition and it's pouring out raining. This old lady's waiting across the street for a cat, and Sophia also needs a cat. Old lady has the umbrella, Sophia, no umbrella. One cat comes pulling up. They both look at each other. Who's going to get this cat? Start booking it. The lady's umbrella goes flying off. I personally think she let it fly off just to be making it seem like, oh, I'm more of a desperate person. I'm older, and I'm getting soaking wet now. Old lady gets to the camp, opens the door. Sophia says, thank you for opening for me. Gets right in. Sliding. She slid right in there. And takes off. Person to me, I thought they should have just split the cat, but. They could have. You never know where one person is going versus the other. One person is going on the other side of town. The other person is going in one place. It's New York. It's a big city, so you never know. And it's always traffic. But Sophia makes her home. audition. And kills it, actually. Yeah. Gives a spot. And well, then she's like the final four, right? From the yep. And then comes the person running it. The old lady, Ruth Zimmer. Walks right in. Sophia immediately knows she messed up. No, she actually says, she actually, while she was walking into the auditorium, was like, yeah, this girl Why left not? me on it. And she was like, yeah. And then she looked. <laughs> She said it was her. Yep. And then she was trying to apologize to try to say, listen, I was trying to make it here, to, you know, being your show. Things she wasn't worse. hearing none of that. And things happened, and then the roof 
takes it out, literally. Off stage. Off stage. stage. I think she said they shit. She said she broke her wrist and both yeah. her legs. Yeah, I think bruised pelvis. Yeah, pelvic or she, whatever. She was, she was, she was down for the okay. count. And of course, they tried to blame April, saying that April pushed her. But in the, if you look at the video, she wasn't pushed. The lady just tripped and fell, trying to pull away from that. Yeah. April. Yeah, when you try to pull away hard, your body is gonna move back. With some type of force, she may stumble. She stumbled. She mm -hmm. took her L off the stage. Now, granted, this is supposed to set up the whole movie, but personally, me, they both should have shared the cat. Would have got them together. Never know. That's if they knew they were going to the same place. But yeah, but I mean, still in all all generosity. Technically, it's supposed to be whoever got to the cat first supposed to go. But yeah. I mean, you made the dumb decision of opening the door that way and being behind the door instead of just opening it to get in. I've actually yourself. never seen like, someone open a door that way. Yeah, I'm like, really? But, I mean, it happened. And, but it set door. it up to where April now gets evicted from her apartment because, of course, she has no money. She This would probably give her money. Her, uh, I'm guessing we can say that's her best friend in a way. Yeah, we can say that the guy is. De Deco? Deco? Uh, I want to say Delco, but because <laughs> that, that's that's what it relates to me when I see the name. But it's I believe Deco. Okay. Deco Deco. Some of the yeah. Fashion designer lives in the same apartment complex as her. Same well, floor. Huh? Lived. I'm going to say because he still lives there, but she doesn't. Yeah. Same she got evicted. She tries to uh, not let her father know, which was kind of funny. Cause then he texts her right back after. Cause they were FaceTiming. She's just like, oh, I'm waiting for food. Meanwhile, she's just sitting out in front of her apartment door being evicted. She oh, texts her back. she's sitting there evicted. Wait, you missed the little funny part. So she's trying to, yeah, because she tries to find another um, director who doesn't care what she says. Oh, you, you want to show that part. Yeah, because, that was funny, because right? that's why it was funny. So she, 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 and his name was Willie Wong. Yeah, hey, we're going to get on that name in a second. And she finds his office. He's basically walking and talking to his assistant. And she's dancing. And she whips her hair back and forth and then slaps some lady with some Frappuccino or something. Oh, she hit a few people before that, too. Yeah, but I mean, she, this lady has some Frappuccino. Knocks over all the coffee and some of the, what is it, uh, whipped cream gets in her hair. That's when she was sitting on the, um, on the floor talking to her dad after that. Yeah, and she got home and got the eviction notice. Not even eviction notice, because they sent her an eviction notice. Man, but this was bolted and locked. Yeah, they changed the locks and everything. But sad thing was, Willie Wong wasn't paying her no mind at all. He was busy on his tablet the whole time. Tablet, phone, all that. Now, once did he look at her? Not even when he walked past. <laughs> when she fell on the floor, not at all. Not at all. But fast forward that, she ends up back at her hometown, New Hope, Wisconsin. Where she got her brick bricks, where she started it all from, mm -hmm. where she left the love of her life, her high school sweetheart, mm -hmm. through a text message. Ouch. Savagery. That, that's wrong. Savagery. Nobody wants to be broken up through a text message. Savagery. I mean, would you rather a text message or just not nothing at all? Nothing at all. I'd rather really? just disappear from the face of the earth. A text message, like, really? That meant, I mean... Nothing to you that you had to break up with me. I mean, a text I message. feel like I'd rather you break up with me through a text message and not acknowledge me as a person. Like, wow. like you just like actually that's why I break up with me that way. Like they literally just was like blowing off the face of the earth, and then I found them. I refound them like six months later. <laughs> it's just like weird. The better ones. You never know what happened to them. But see, the, the thing is, I mean, I. Uh, not me, but if you're gullible, then you're just like, okay, well, I'm waiting for the loved one. No, I, I, that's like a week or two. I was like, okay, whatever. I mean, I'm not doing it in a week. I'm giving two days. <laughs> I hear from you in two days. All right. Uh, but, yeah, that was messed up. But he's still living in there, taking care of his sister after their mom uh, died. They're still living with their grandma. Who knows where the dad is at? So they never even mentioned the dad. I don't think. One thing I gotta say about this town, right, of New Hope, Wisconsin. It gave me hope. There's a lot of broken families. Yes, there's a lot of broken families, but as the town comes together as a family. Though, yes, so I will have to. That agree was with good. It. Now, some of the characters on here, the kids that she turns out to begin to train and connect with. She really did connect with them, though. 
it was kind of touching their all, all of their backstories and their stories because the, one of the dancers is deaf, which was I found kind of surprising because I mean I guess you can feel the beat as they said, but it was a little surprising because you can't hear the music, but I guess she felt the vibration or whatever, mm -hmm. and she was actually on point with it once they got everything together. Yeah. But so she's basically whipping them in shape on the uh, throughout the course of this story, but. Her only goal was to get the audition with Willie Wong because I didn't know how to audition to well, get in, to front, get of in him. front of him because there's a dance competition where the, they get to the top, finals. What, top three gets to go to Atlantic City to all uh, to perform in the finals where he's one of the judges, which was kind of ironic to me. But I mean, of course, it's a feel good story. You so know what else was ironic? The fact that. Oh, if you're going to say about what happened at the finals, no, no, no. I hope that part. The fact that the finals was Atlantic City. Oh, yeah, and, and things, in, things New in New York. Oh, I might have been in Philadelphia, honestly. The irony, but yeah. I mean, I guess competitions used to be in, the, in Atlantic City a lot anyway, so. Yeah. But the part that really stuck out during that time before was when she first, they did their first little contest, came in fourth place because it was her fault. She tried to make it about her instead of about the girls. Because mm -hmm. there's a teacher feature, as they call it, where mm -hmm. the teacher goes on stage and dances with the, uh, the with kids. The kids yeah. And the competition was trash, honestly, if you ask me. Some of the first one? Yeah. First of all, what kids do you know? Five and six is going to be shaking their butts on stage Bruh. like that. I'm like... Yo, and then the mom's up there, yeah! I'm like, yo, and it was white people at that. Not black people. And I was like, what? The funniest part, the, no, but here's the thing about the movie. It knows what it's doing because I've never seen a movie like say what I'm thinking. Like, it was literally hilarious, and he was like, there was a guy, I forget his name, he was literally in the background, like, are there all these are the parents okay with the children doing this? And then a the lady was like, Yeah, woo, that's my baby. And the lady was like, Oh, apparently so. <laughs> yeah. I was like, it Wow. Was crazy. And then covering the uh, child's uh, face. Now, I wanted to get on that for a second. An Asian child with a white woman. They never expressed if she's adopted or not. No, she has an Asian father. She does? I've never seen the father. Yeah, yeah. Because remember, father? if you remember the scene when she. Yeah, well, if you remember, so there's two scenes where you actually see them, for sure. Um, remember she was laying in the bed after they got um, advised that they were going to the finals? And she popped up and was like, we're going to the finals. Ah. That, And then remember, which I thought was absolutely hilarious. You know how you have your football dads. And, oh, that and, scene was hilarious. And they argue about football and stuff like that. But no, they were talking about, well, your your daughter's plie is trash. That was hilarious. But the Asian but, guy that was standing right there with them, that was the that was the dad's uh, well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah, that was, but you know, a few of the fathers were football coaches. Yes. There, yeah. So that's why it made it even more ironic. Yeah, that was hilarious. Um, teams. And then they all come into the uh, place. Wait up. Beat bruises. up faces, bruises, ice packs, and all. Uh, only one of them really doesn't have nothing but maybe a little shine on his eye, just sitting there smiling. What was funny about that though is like they really the the, the parents, the dads of it. And this warmed my heart. Honestly. But the whole town. Yeah, the whole town got behind them, but the dads got behind their children. Like their, oh yeah, their they kids. were practicing yeah, helping them. Exactly. Like, but I think that was because he was a single father though. That's what it was in town. The families were broken. Like, where's the mother? That was the only bad part about this. Almost every family did have one parent missing. And then the black family. Yeah. It was just the mother there working almost two, three jobs trying to Exactly. Survive. And I felt bad for the daughter because how the mom got on the bus was like, you lied to me. Yeah, that's You're not bad, getting up. That's, that's no, but still family. Family. no, but that was a little bit of too much pride. Yeah, You're not yeah. taking handouts. Yeah, so it's, it's a I, mean, I can't afford it, so you got to get off. But the daughter already found the way, which I felt bad that she had to do that to begin with. Had to be doing the books for the dance studio so she can get time to do dance rehearsals. But she stood her ground and told her mom no. Yeah. Which honestly, I'm be honest, most black families... You'd have did that to your mom. You'd have got it. 
You got, got hit, hit to the face. You got hit in the, the head with shoe. the shoe. No, you something. got hit in the head with that geometry book that you forgot. Yeah, something would have happened. You've been dragged off that bus. But no, like I said, a lot of the families are broken families, though. And I think and actually all of them were. No, except for it for the 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 uh, owner of the the uh, studio. That's about it. That's about, I think I, I think yeah, I think that's that's probably about it. And well, like, it's just that they showed. Yeah, but. It was funny. I mean, the one another funny part about is when they're looking for the um, the costumes for the finals. Oh yeah. And then the dude gets out with some boots, stockings on, a leather <laughs> dress. The people now the people in the he, town. He's uh, either flamboyant or gay. It, 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 I, it doesn't I'm, even matter. I'm just saying. So I'm just drawing yeah. the context. Yeah. So that's why he's dressing that So way. the thing is that and he's people a fashion person. So in the town, now mind you. It's, they this probably is country. this is Wisconsin. Yeah, they 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 probably had like one or two three blue, one or two three black people in their neighborhood, one and a half gay people. But to have someone to get like the, the combined this is New York stock, they were confused. The guys was just staring like what? <laughs> they were just good. walking around prideful. I'm like, go okay, ahead. Yeah, he that's was something. doing his thing, but. Yo, a funny thing, another funny, funny thing about him that I actually mentioned to my wife. I said, "Yo, why he gotta be Dougie going to sleep?" Yeah, on some <laughs> some silk pants with the silk shirt. I'm like, bro, you're going to sleep. Why you gotta be Dougie to go to sleep? I mean, that's just that's just how some people really are, though. I'm not gonna lie, especially in the fashion industries and all. But then the scene, his best scene to me was the uh, scene when he's fighting the uh, other. I'm, damn, what are the producer or whatever? But oh. one of the other shows about his shoes. That's missing. And that then, going, funny. then when she throws the Prada shoe at him, talking about, and I, that's Billy's shoe. Oh, you stole from Billy thing too? No, she said uh, uh, not RuPaul. Billy, oh, RuPaul, my bad. My bad, RuPaul. <laughs> my bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> got RuPaul, out. yeah, RuPaul. Yeah, and so he throws the, he grabs it, and I'm keeping that. I'm keeping this collateral hook to get my stuff. They really was about to have a whole fight in Atlantic City over shoes. Yeah, that was pretty funny. That was pretty funny. Um, it definitely did have his last. Mm -hmm. One of the, like I said, another feel good part was the little dude. Like, I forget his oh, name, yeah. but yeah. he was just being sent there because his, somebody had to watch him. Somebody had to watch him. And his sister was already there. So mm -hmm. while his sister was practicing, he was literally on the sideline yeah. playing with his little, his little men, yeah. he coloring. Was knocked out one but point. yeah, that's when he was coloring. They all stuck to his face. But see, like, as he was doing it, he, was, he, did, he did not practice with them. He Not was literally until after just the first yeah. time he ran on stage. Yeah. So he was literally just watching them, mm -hmm. and then they go to um, one of the um, competitions, and the two little girls they just like get stage fright. So he literally just runs out there and like show and saved it, and then start killing it. Like knows all the dance moves and everything, and his father just loves it. Like his dad mm -hmm. just ate it up. It wasn't like one of those. Dad's, oh, my son can't. No. Because, I mean, guys can dance and do all yeah. that stuff, too. Most of, most which I, I appreciate the show showing that. Because it wasn't just him being the only guy that was on it. Some of the other... Uh, other teams definitely did have, 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 have guys some guys, yes. And so it was his, interesting. His, his dad just ate it up. His dad loved it. His dad mm -hmm. loved it. And that's the kind of dad I would aspire to be one day, man. Just, just, just be into whatever your kids are into. Now, the only thing I did not like about it was that they didn't directly say whether or not they won the dance competition because they made it to the final no, round. No, they didn't. No, they alluded that they lost. Yeah, they, they alluded it. They yeah, didn't okay, come out okay. completely they didn't and say it because she did take get the job though with Willie Wong as the lead cast member. And yeah, then after she, at, we're going we're gonna to get back to that, but she did become, and when she was FaceTiming uh, the girl, she was like, didn't I say that we're going to FaceTime for practices? I'll fly back on Sundays, whatever, and they're going to listen to me. And she said, we got to do whatever do. I forget the name of that. Rich? Real, realtor? Real, something like that. It started with an R. Yeah. Uh, we got we got beat them. Um, mm -hmm. She said she's going to keep doing this until they beat them. So apparently they alluded to them only making like first or second place or something like that. Yeah, they alluded like, to them losing. I but, wish they would have showed whether or not what happened at the very end of it all. Yeah. Because their performance, I like that performance. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good performance. Um, so we're gonna just wrap up the last part. So typical, as I stated, and the non-spoiler reviews, it's like 
a redemption story. She 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 was about to leave. She, no, not even about to. She left. She took. She, she left on the competition. Like after they got, because um, it was two days of the competition, they got yeah, to the final round. Yeah, they got to the final round. She left. She straight up left well, because Willie Wong was gave like, her ultimatum. Yeah. yeah, I need you back in New York. Yeah, you I need you to, to, to be the lead dancer. So she didn't say bye. I'll catch y'all later. She she skated. She skated. Yeah. And then um, only the little girl, the little girl who looked up to her, caught her. Well, because I mean, which honestly that part made me a little upset because you didn't think that she would have a problem with you leaving the first time or the second time. Yeah. You're supposed to be dating her older brother. Her parents have all her her mom has died. Her dad we don't know. Yeah. But she looked up to you like her like the same way she looks up to her brother. Mm -hmm. You know. Why didn't you around? And you just leap up and leave and then do it again. Yeah. Second time, at least she spoke up this time. Broke down, crying and all of that. Didn't want her to go. But then he came out. Mm -hmm. It's like, really? This how, you gonna do this again? Not say nothing to me? Exactly. After I told you, I still came up to New York to see you. But you still looked like you was doing good in New York, so you didn't. Nah, I was going to. So yeah, she leaves. Um, she goes to the, uh, to practice or whatever. Mm -hmm. And she just starts to feel bad. Like she talks to, she has a conversation with her dad, and she just feels bad. And this is where I say the irony: Atlantic City, New Jersey. I mean, Atlantic City, New York. New York. She realizes that she made a mistake, and she says, she tells Willie, "Listen, I'm sorry. If you want to keep me around, I will really appreciate it. But if not, I understand." Goes off. I gotta honor my commitment. <laughs> goes off in a scoop with a scooter. Moped. moped, and I still have a problem with that. You ain't making it there in time with no moped from New York to Atlantic City. I don't care how fast you're going because you can't go but so fast, and it's windy when you ride on that. Yeah. Come on. So they get to the um, they get to the what is it called? They, the competition. Yeah, just in time. Just in time, and they they kill it. They kill it. Yeah, they all come together. So. They reconcile their differences. She apologizes for everything. Sarah gives her a big hug. Blah blah blah. Yeah. And then, fat they fast forward to her performance in Willy Wong's uh, production as the lead on opening night. And then, uh, fast forward to them surprising her there after the show. Mm -hmm. And then they do a big number musical number outside at the end, which was a little cheesy to me, but it was still funny because. Who's the taxi cab waiting behind them out in the street while they dancing? No other than Roof. Bro, I didn't see it. I turned it off. Oh, man. You didn't see that part? Roof was in the taxi cab that was stuck behind them while they was dancing. And she looked pissed. I am. I'm going to have to turn away to see that again. But, yeah, that was really good. But it was, all in all, it was a really good movie. Um, something you can definitely watch with your kids, your family, get some popcorn, some pizza, some ice cream, whatever mm -hmm. you want. And just sit back and just enjoy it. It's a little family friendly, definitely family friendly, ready to G. Um, you know, with your kids and your loved ones. Yeah. Nice, feel good movie. If you need something to have to feel good about, definitely check it out. Again, it's called Feel the Beat. It is on Netflix as of right now. And don't forget to let us know what you guys think in the comments. And always subscribe. Till next time. Hey,